He said, not only be fruitful and multiply, but take dominion over it. He was telling them to take the authority that was given to them because they were in the image and likeness of God and to use it for God's glory and his benefit. And so when we understand this, he's saying that he intentionally made them male, he intentionally made them female, and the two shall become one flesh. He's saying these things are sacred. These things are sacred, which is why when we address the issue of gender and sex, which God has ordained as sacred, he intentionally created us that way. That's why there's such an onslaught in this world against that. And people are getting so triggered and emotional about that issue because it's a sacred thing, but they have been tricked and duped by the enemy to take the wrong position, the wrong religion, the wrong mindset, which lines up with the kingdom of darkness instead of the kingdom of God. So we have to be very careful because we know that just like we are part of the kingdom of God and Jesus is our king, the alternative kingdom is the kingdom of darkness and is run by the Antichrist. Jesus is the king of kings. He is the Christ. But we also know in the kingdom of darkness is run by the Antichrist. And so what we see here, as I said, the things that are sacred to God are now being called not sacred and the, the alternative is now becoming sacred. 